Hi guys, I'm Mark Mendoza. So I can call Mr. M. Let's mark off your math skills today. This video is about the second part of our discussion about relations and functions. But this time, we will focus more on functions and of course, we'll have a review of some concepts about relations. Let's continue by defining a function. A function is similar to a vending machine. A function takes an input value and in return, gives an output value. For instance, you have to insert coins in order for you to get drink from a vending machine. Therefore, the input value is the money and the output value is the drink. And that is how functions work. Functions refer to the pairing of elements of one set, set X, with the elements of another set, set Y. Wherein, the elements of set X is paired to exactly one element in set Y. Take note that a function is a relation. And out of the four types of relation, a function is represented by one-to-one -one and many-to-one -one relations. Let us have some examples of one-to-one -one and many-to-one relations. Here is an example of one-to-one -one relationship where the elements on the left side are paired exactly to one element on the right side. Here is an example of many-to-one relationship where there are two elements on the left side paired to one element on the right side, such as negative 2 and 2 paired to 3 and negative 1 and 1 paired to 0. And now that we already recall the mapping diagram of one-to-one -one and many-to-one relations, let's take a quick look on how to identify the mapping diagram of many-to-many -many and one-to-many relations. Here's the mapping diagram of one-to-one, many-to-one, one-to-many, and many-to-many -many correspondences. How do we know if a given graph represents a function? In order for us to know if a given graph represents a function, we have to use the vertical line test. A vertical line test is used to identify whether a relation represented by a graph defines a function. But how do we actually use the vertical line test? Let me show you some examples. To apply the vertical line test, just draw a vertical line through the graph. If the line hits the graph only once, then it is a function. If it hits the graph more than once, it is not a function. For the first graph, if you draw a line passing through the graph, it only hits the graph once. Thus, the graph represents a function. However, for the second graph, if you draw a vertical line, the line hits the graph twice. Thus, it is not a function. We already know that we have to use vertical line tests in identifying if a given graph represents a function. But, in general, how do we know or how do we identify the type of relation shown by a graph? Let us use the same graphs in the previous example. We already know that the graph on the left is a function. Thus, it represents either a many-to-one or a one-to-one -one relationship. However, the graph on the right is not a function. Therefore, it can either be many-to-many -many or one-to-many. -to, to know the type of relationship, we will use a horizontal line test. Horizontal line test is used to determine whether a function represented by a graph is one-to-one. -one. We will draw a horizontal line and check the number of intersections of the horizontal line with the graph. For the first example, the horizontal line intersects the graph twice. It has many horizontal intersections and only one vertical intersection. Thus, it represents many-to-one relationship. However, for the second example, the horizontal line intersects the graph once. It has one horizontal intersection and many vertical intersections. Thus, it represents one-to-many relationship. How do we know that a given set of ordered pairs is a function? By analyzing the set of ordered pairs, we can see that the graph on the left, which is a function, does not have repeating x values. Thus, for a function, the x values or x coordinates for a set of ordered pairs should not be repeated. Since there are repeating x values for the table of values on the right, this set of ordered pairs does not represent a function. And now, let me give you a tip on how to identify the type of relation being shown by a set of ordered pairs. By analyzing the x values, we are able to identify if a given table of values represents a function or not. The table of values on the left represents a function since the x values are not repeated. We know for a fact that it can either be many to one or one to one. Now, let us analyze the y values. Since the y values are repeated, the table of values on the left represents a many-to-one relation. On the other hand, for the table on the right, since there is no repetition of y-coordinates, 
we can say that it represents a one-to-many relation. Now, let me give you a summary of what we discussed in this video. Here are the different mapping diagrams and their corresponding type of relation. To identify the type of relation for a set of ordered pairs, we use repetition of y coordinate to repetition of x coordinate. To identify the type of relation shown by a graph, we use horizontal line test to vertical line test. That's it. Thank you for watching this video. See you again in the next video. Hey, no, 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 no.